Hi, installing Windows on your Mac can become tricky. Worst of all, you need to sacrifice at least 32 gigabytes of precious disk space. In some cases, when you have a boot camp installed, it creates problems when you update to a newer version of Mac OS. So I found a solution. What if you could create an external thumb drive or even an external hard disk with a bootable Windows 10 partition? That will work not only on any Macintosh, but also on a PC. How about if this thumb drive or external HD can boot on any Macintosh, with any Mac OS installed on it, and you can even boot up former Mac with Windows 7 installed? How about if the same thumb drive or external HD could boot on a PC? Well, I found a way to do that. On this video I will show you a 32GB thumb drive with Windows 10 boots up on a MacBook Pro 15 inch 2012, then the same thumb drive boots on a MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina late 2012, and that the same thumb drive will boot on a Mac Pro late 2013. I also tested the same thumb drive on a white MacBook 2009 and it worked. I also used the same method to create the bootable Windows 10 on an external 2GB hard disk, and I will show you how that external drive booted up in Windows 10 on a Mac Pro 2013 and also on a PC. I will place below the link of the tutorial that made all this possible. Unfortunately, this video is too long, but it had to be long, in order to see by yourself that everything you see is legit. One more thing, keep in mind that every Mac has different specifications, so you may have to manually install some video card drives, but don't worry, it is all explained on the tutorial. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts on this, I really appreciate good feedback.
Hi, I would like to make a small demonstration. Holding the Alt key, I will boot up a MacBook Pro using the Windows 7 partition. If you would like to know how to install Windows 7 32-bit on a MacBook Pro late 2012 with Retina, please have a look at the previous tutorial on my channel. I will now take my 32GB SunDisk USB stick and install it on the MacBook Pro. You can clearly see that there is a Windows installation on this USB stick. I will now reboot the MacBook Pro, and again, by holding the Alt key I will choose to boot from the Windows partition on the USB SunDisk stick. Yes, you guessed it, I installed a bootable Windows 10 partition on the USB SunDisk stick and it works like a charm. I can browse the internet and do whatever I please at the Windows 10 environment. What I mostly like about this bootable Windows 10 partition is that I do not have to sacrifice 32 gigabytes of disk space on my internal drive. I also love the fact that I can use it on other Macintosh computers, like my Mac Pro late 2013. All I have to do is plug it, hold the Alt key when the Mac is booting up, and choose the yellow USB partition, and bingo. I also tested this bootable Windows 10 partition on the USB SunDisk pin drive on an older MacBook late 2009, and it also worked. Very exciting. Now I will show you an external hard disk 2 terabyte with Windows 10 installed, booting on Mac Pro late 2013 and afterwards, I will use the same hard disk to boot on a regular PC. Isn't this exciting? Just check the tutorial that I linked below and you will find out how to create your own Windows 10 bootable external drive that works universally to any Mac and PC. Have a nice day.
If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac OS High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. A digital Macintosh YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and A digital Macintosh YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing. Viewing.